Hey riders, Eric with Ride Adventures here in another video reminding you that we make it easy for you to travel the world by motorcycle and adventure 4x4 truck by having the vehicle you want to rent in the place that you want to ride it. So the trip we're talking about today here is our wild and rugged Columbia adventure package. It's a 17-day adventure tour through a country that, yes, once wasn't safe to travel in, but that is a long-changed truth in that Columbia is perfectly safe to travel in now, and we've been doing so for years. Our customers are coming home with huge smiles and great great photos to share and actually some of them are coming back for a second tour in Colombia to go out and see more that they didn't see the first time so so this trip starts and finishes in the city of Cali and if you're into nightlife and salsa dancing and things like that try to spend a little time on either end of your trip here because it's a great city known for its nightlife so the ride in itself though begins and immediately we get away from the big city and out into the tiniest smallest dirt road villages that we come across in this beautiful country so through the Kokora Valley, home to the tallest palm trees in the world, the wax palms, you get to ride amongst them on tiny dirt roads. Through the Tatakoa Desert, a lot of people don't know this, but Colombia actually has a desert region to it. You get to see the rock formations the, and the color and the different varying microclimates that are scattered throughout this incredible country. So you're constantly in, encased in valley settings of the Andes Mountains. You got volcanoes all around as well, constantly changing elevation and, and, and terrain as you bounce back and forth between pavement settings and twisties and turns, back through the dirt roads and villages again. Yes, mudslides are always possible. They're fortunately kind of rare, but we deal with them when we have to and just constantly changing atmosphere for this adventure ride is sort of the theme of it all. So the trip formats that are available for this are first of all to join us for the guided group tours that are shown on the dates on our website so you can be part of a group and hang out with fun and friendly riders probably from around the world as you travel through Columbia together. But we also offer the self-guided fly and ride package where again you show up and the motorcycle of your choice is waiting for you. The hotel package all prepaid and waiting so you're going to follow your road book and your notes to see all the highlights throughout the trip and you're going to know where to get food and fuel and all these options to your hotel each day and it's all laid out there for you. If instead you just want to do your own pace and, and do your own riding and not have any itinerary to follow, of course you can just rent these bikes as well and explore Colombia as you wish. The seasonality for a ride like this is basically year round in Colombia. So close to the equator like this, you've got very consistent temperatures, a series of microclimates found throughout the wild and rugged route means that sometimes you'll be at high altitudes and you could be down in the 50s Fahrenheit kind of cold. Rain is definitely possible throughout Columbia, but for the most part, especially at the lower elevations and the mid ranges, the weather is very warm and you can relax and maybe get in a warm shower instead of uh, any really rigorous and tough conditions to have to deal with. So really good weather all around in Columbia. The terrain you're gonna find on this wild and rugged route is a constantly changing mix of pavement and off pavement riding. So about 35% of the route is off pavement and the majority of that is gonna be hard packed gravel and dirt, pretty basic easy stuff. It can get a little slippery sometimes, sometimes if there's rain, you can get more of a muddiness, but uh, riders need to be prepared to handle about uh, that much of the time off pavement. And then the pavement itself, beautiful paved twisties and turns, long sweepers. Hardly ever are you going to be going straight in the country of Colombia, so because you're always winding in through these valley settings. So it's constantly changing though and a real test of a rider. So according to our difficulty grading schedule, we've rated this as a level four tour. Um, this is not something that you should show up and try riding off pavement your first time for. If you're unfamiliar with tight twisties and switchbacks and stuff like that, get some experience in that before because it's constantly like that. It's never straight roads. The terrain and the scenery and everything is always changing. Read the description on that or feel free to inquire with us. One of our guys will get back to you and discuss with you your riding background and help determine if it's the type of ride that you can handle. So yes, at one point, Colombia was a dangerous country to travel in. We wouldn't have gone there. But for the past 10 years, it's been absolutely no problem. Political changes have it absolutely welcoming to people from around the world to come and see the truth now. And this is a vibrant country full of fun and friendly people who are very excited to see motorcycle travelers coming to see their beautiful country. And you're just gonna love what you experience and come home with lots of smiles and stories and photos to share. So. There's links in the description. There's a contact form to reach us and let us know. Do you want to come and do this as part of a guided group? Do you want to do this as your own self-guided tour? Or bring your own private group of friends. We have all the options for you. Dates do sell out early. Remember that, you know, for the winter months, a lot of people are trying to get away to a warm weather 
riding vacation getaway like this in Columbia. So be sure to book in advance and uh, let us know when that's going to be because we look forward to seeing your reaction to beautiful Columbia. So talk to you soon, folks.